the whole point about building a straw bale, in my mind, was to like make a house that's breathable. You're not having like a bunch of mechanical insulation of vents and ducts and fans and whatnot. That it's just inherently breathable and that you don't have to do all that stuff because of the materials you're using. But now, the way I learned straw bale is you have all these smart barrier bridging all gaps where you can't plaster and you effectively have an interior and exterior air barrier all the way around you. And so my question is, do we need an HRV with this volume of house, about 1,500 square feet of livable space? Do we need an HRV? And, you know, with running bath fans and having a wood stove with an exterior air intake, we need an HRV, and if so, how much of one do we need? And then, if I was to do this house again, how could we design in leakiness? Leakiness. How can we design in leakiness, or enough leakiness, so that we don't have to use these mechanical means of breathing for our interior air, which seems to be getting a little bit ridiculous now. Yeah. Yeah, and you think, with this as well, where that's what we've been told, that these things are breathable, so you wouldn't need that. Is that well, one I think of the... Well, I think the breathability of bales is more like for building science, and that like your materials are gonna be able to slowly breathe and respirate, so they don't form mold. However, our air needs are a lot more rapid and voluminous than our materials needs. So I think that that's more been concentrated on with the natural building world, is materials needs for breathability. Not necessarily human, but I don't really know. Mm. I don't yeah. really know. Let's know. Opinions. So, so HRV or no HRV, does the building actually need it? Correct. <laughs>